purpose of today's hearing is tech titans appeared on capitol hill albeit remotely to face lawmakers in a much anticipated hearing on antitrust concerns members of both parties at the house judiciary subcommittee hearing on wednesday grilled the four ceos apple's tim cook facebook's mark zuckerberg alphabet's sundar pichai and amazon's jeff bezos on everything from market dominance to data surveillance to military contracts to political censorship simply put they have too much power. This power staves off new forms of competition, creativity, and innovation. The four men, who together represent about $5 trillion of the U.S. economy, faced accusations of abusing their immense power to maintain dominance. So my first question, Mr. Pichai, is why does Google steal content from honest businesses? I disagree with that characterization. Just last week, I met with many small businesses in fact, today we support 1.4 million small businesses. Zuckerberg tried to convince Congress that Facebook was not as dominant as it was made out to be and still faced competition. In many areas, we're behind our competitors. The most popular messaging service in the U.S. is iMessage. The fastest growing app is TikTok. Bezos touted Amazon's mammoth size as contributing to job creation, but tried to argue it was still a little fish in a big pond. The retail market we participate in is extraordinarily large and competitive. Amazon accounts for less than 1% of the $25 trillion global retail market and less than 4% of U.S. retail. While Tim Cook faced heat on whether Apple was stifling competition in its app store. Has Apple ever retaliated against or disadvantaged a developer who went public about their frustrations with uh, the app store? Sir, we don't, we do, do not retaliate or bully people. Democrats wanted assurances that Facebook would police hate speech and misinformation in the hopes of preventing a repeat of the kind of foreign election interference the U.S. saw in 2016. I'll just cut to the chase. Big tech's out to get conservatives. While Republicans, like ranking member Jim Jordan, said the real election interference was social media companies purportedly targeting conservatives.